Hello everyone, we are doing two Welkin giveaways on our Discord server, so if you want a chance to win, make sure to join the server. Link is in the description. Exciting news is starting to come forward about Natlin as we approach its release. We've received some early information about Shabalank, Natlin's exploration system, and its maps. However, I'd like to emphasize that these details are early and subject to change, so take them with a grain of salt. Firstly, According to a reliable source, E. HXG Diluc, Natlan might introduce a dragon riding or mount system in the near future. While similar rumors surfaced earlier, they were hard to believe at the time. Now, with multiple sources agreeing this information, it seems likely that we'll see the mount system in Natlan. Regarding Shabalank, the upcoming playable character, rumors suggest various appearances, including tanned skin with red hair, white skin with red hair, or tanned skin with white hair. Additionally, it's hinted that Shabalank will use a medium, male model, possibly akin to Bennett, or one of the first short chibi male characters. Moving forward, Utavat reports that the Natlin chapter will focus on a performing art-centered design philosophy, akin to the 4.6 World Quest. This means that Hoyaverse will prioritize Natlin's story and culture without neglecting overworld exploration. Natlin's narrative and culture will be central, but unlike Sumeru, where maps were locked behind world quests, exploration won't be restricted. Moreover, Hoyoverse aims to enhance music and animation in Notlin, as confirmed through recent posts about new device requirements. In summary, Genshin Impact appears to be shifting its focus from open-world exploration to storytelling, catering to a significant portion of players who engage primarily for the story. However, this doesn't imply a reduction in map size or exploration opportunities. That's all. Thanks for watching and subscribe, or you'll lose your 50-50 to Chi-Chi.